Hey folks, I'm Al from Realton RV and uh, I'm just going to tell you about a few things that if you forget can ruin your weekend when you're camping. Now we're there to have fun but you know there's a few things to get out of the way first. Make sure that uh, when you pull into the campsite you're never going to have some level ground so it's important to start off with uh, some leveling tools. Uh, you can start with these and uh, we have different varieties for fifth wheels, trailers, motorhomes. You put them on on the side, one on the front and you start off by leveling your trailer. Now, you're not going to have level ground, so we have these uh, levelers here. You can stack them as high as you need to get uh, the one side as much as uh, up as much as you can. Uh, and uh, once you you got the right height set up, you put these wheel chocks right behind it. And you want to have a safe weekend too. You don't want to have to pull a catch a trailer that's rolling away on you because the the nice spot you've got is on unlevel ground, which they all are. And uh, once you got your trailer level, you're going to want to hook up your electrical and your wiring. That's when you find out that the campground you have only has 15 amp or 20 amp or 30 amp service and you got a big 50 amp cable. You start with these uh, 30 to 15 amp adapters or 50 to 30. This will make sure that uh, you're getting power and you're not running on your batteries for the whole weekend or the week. And then you're going to want to hook up your water. Now, most campgrounds, depending on uh, where you're at in the campground, they're going to have different uh, different pressure settings. So a pressure regulator is going to ensure that you're getting about 40-45 uh, psi throughout the whole trailer. It's going to take uh, do the brunt of the work and make sure that you're running at an optimal level. We got 25, 50, 100 uh, foot hoses. These aren't your regular gar garden variety hoses. You can pick one up at a store, but uh, these ones are made for drinking water. So if you got kids or company, you want to make sure there's no lead, there's no BPAs or anything from sitting in the sun, you're going to want this kind of hose right here. It's trouble free and you don't have to let it run for half a minute there before you get some drinkable water. Once you got your water set up, the trailer's level, everything's all nice and neat, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you put some chemicals in your toilet too. If anybody's ever had a septic tank, you know that you got to put some chemicals in that septic tank. Well, it's the same thing with a trailer. Now, this only usually has about uh, 30 to 40 gallons of uh, black water. So to break it down as fast as possible, by adding chemicals, you're going to make sure that nothing gets stuck on the side of your tank. Now as well, you got to pair that up with uh, the right kind of toilet paper. This stuff here has been made specially for RVs because it dissolves fast in the tank. You, uh, don't hold it in your hand more than three seconds. No, it's okay. You, could, you should have plenty of time anyways, but uh, yeah, this will dissolve in your tank. It'll make sure that nothing gets stuck on the side of the tank and when you go and dump the tank, and you know, you're not gonna have residue at the end of the year that you have to worry about spraying out with a hose in the toilet. So, now, speaking of the toilet, you're gonna have to dump that trailer at some point and uh, you wanna have the right tools to do the job. So make sure you have gloves. That's a, that's a good one. You need gloves. But there's several different types of hose. And this one here is kind of nice because it's heavy duty. And it's going to give you years of service. And nothing's going to get stuck on the inside. And it's also adjustable so you can turn corners. And with the bigger trailers these days, you can't sometimes get it right up to the tanks. So you can get 10, 20, 30 feet. You can uh, extend them later on if you want, if you find that it's not long enough. And most trailers come with storage for these, uh, these hoses anyways. Now, you're gonna have these lights on all the time. It's, you're camping, you're staying up a little later, and incandescent bulbs seem to burn a little faster. We also offer a variety of LED lights if you want uh, 20, 30,000 hours of trouble-free, good lighting. Uh, they're a little pricier than the incandescent bulbs, but you'll find that you probably, it's probably going to outlast the trailer. However, it's important to know which size bulbs you have, so there's hundreds of varieties of bulbs. And you can just take the one off that you want, bring it in, and we'll match it up. It's a good idea to have a couple of these on hand. Speaking of bulbs, any other electrical problems will usually be with a 12 volt system. You've overloaded it a bit, or you turned everything on at the same time, or you shorted it out. So keep a variety of uh, small fuses with you all the time. And uh, by doing all these things, 
you know, you've, you've pretty much eliminated most of the problems you can have camping. Now it's just a matter of uh, making sure you have a first aid kit, which we also stock for the kids scrapes and scratches from climbing the trees and uh, we also sell a variety of accessories for you know cooking wieners on the campfire or marshmallows or maybe a sandwich or a burger. Yeah, come and see us at Earlton RV and uh, we'll help you find everything you need.